Computed tomography scan or CT scan uses computers and rotating X-ray machines to create cross-sectional images of the body. These images provide more detailed information than typical X-ray images. In this video, we will learn how we do CT scan, mechanisms of CT scan, use of CT scan, and interpretation of CT scan data. This video is made in collaboration with the Nordmedic. Why we need CT scan when we have X-ray? Now, X-ray also gives you an image of the body, a radiological image. CT scan also gives you a radiological image, but the image is of higher resolution, and that is why we need CT scan over X-ray. Now, how we perform a CT scan? Now, CT scan machine or the gantry is placed in a separate room. The patient is made to lie on a stretcher near the gantry, then the patient inserts within the gantry, and the operator sits in a separate room where on a computer the operator can see the generated image. And the gantry and the patient is kept in a radiation proof room where the glass and the walls are made up of lead which protects the operator from radiation. Now the gantry has sensors all over its body and has x-ray tubes. Now these x-ray tubes fire x-rays towards the body and the sensors pick up and form an image. Now, in this manner, the X-ray tube rotates and again gives another projection, then again rotates, gives another projection and this is how multiple projections of the same slice of the body is taken. And now these multiple projections are processed using a computer software and finally they overlap to generate one single high resolution image. Now when we look at a CT scan, we look at a CT scan from the bottom end of a patient and hence the CT scan appears somewhat like this. Now in this image, even though the liver appears on the left hand side, it is the right hand side of the patient. And the spleen, even though it appears to be on the right hand side, it is the patient's left hand side. Because this is the typical way of looking at a CT scan, that is from the foot end of the patient. Now with this knowledge, let us understand what are the types of CT scan. Now CT scan can be a non-contrast CT scan, a contrast enhanced CT scan where you can clearly make out the vasculature of the different anatomical structures and finally we have something known as a 3D CT scan or three-dimensional CT scan where the computer softwares recreate a three-dimensional image of the body based on the projections that we take in the CT scan machine. Now let us interpret the CT scan data. Now on the left hand side we have an x-ray on the right hand side we have a CT scan. In the x-rays we can see bones mainly even though we get to see other soft tissues but the resolution is very poor. We get to see bones in the CT scan as well, but apart from that we also get to see vessels and soft tissue clearly and hence we require a CT scan. So in summary, we can say that CT scan technique reveals the anatomical picture of your tissues and organs with better resolution. In this technique, the X-ray play X-ray is the key player. Mechanism of the CT scan we have already discussed and use of CT scan also. Now and we also learned how to interpret a CT scan data. Now for high quality notes and flashcards, follow Animated Biology with Urban on Instagram and Facebook. Now you can also support our channel through Patreon or through Super Thanks so that we can continue to make high quality educational content for free. The Super Thanks button will be in the bottom right corner of any video you can contribute using Paytm, Paypal or UPI. Now if you wish to connect with Urban, the connection links will be given in the description box below. For medicine related content, follow the Nordmedic YouTube channel. And please hit the like button, share this video among your peers and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button so that you never miss an update from this channel. Until then, bye bye. See you in the next one.